everybody, it's Amanda, how's it going? I have a video today about a breakthrough uh, in the world of research regarding you know, the history of antinatalism for those of us that care about the antinatalism's past, the history of antinatalism, um, and making that history more available, more known to a, a wider public, to more antinatalists. Um, this is a, a momentous event. So somebody by the name of Lenny King, uh, a Reddit user, posted to several different subreddits, um, but most especially to the r slash antinatalism subreddit. Uh, the post was entitled, The Holy Grail of Modern Antinatalism on Earth scans an electronic text of Koenig's Neonihilismus. Um, so I'm going to begin by reading just the, the top little part of Lenny's uh, post so that you kind of get the, the gist of what has been accomplished here. Um, Lenny writes, if you've read The History of Antinatalism, volume edited by Katerina Lachmoniva, which you can see here, um, and you can also listen to my interview with Katerina Lochmoniva on the Exploring Antinatalism podcast, uh, or listen to the Exploring Antinatalism podcast by old fan, that's me. You've probably heard the name Koenig, a pseudonym used by a mysterious, hitherto unknown author who might very well be regarded as the first antinatalist in the modern sense of the word, having written an entire book in German about this ideology, for which he coined the to modern research, slightly misleading term neo-nihilism, neo or neo-nihilismus, as the book is called. Um, he's a, in, just in quotation marks, Lenny also writes, mo he's modern, a modern antinatalist in the sense that he's not, uh, he's non-metaphysical, taking antinatalism from a non-metaphysical approach, just, you know, uh, Schopenhauer was a metaphysical, if, if, Okay, it's a long thing, but but if, if Schopenhauer is to be considered an antinatalist at, at all, you know it, it, the separation is that Schopenhauer was a, a, a metaphysician, uh, as opposed to Koenig, who was not, um, and with the expressed goal of human extinction, you know, making him closer to um, you know a Benatarian, uh, you know, sort of um, than really anything else um, that we've been able to find. Um, his Neo Nihilismus is a pamphlet comprised of a collection of essays, dialogues, fragments, poem, and quotations in which he takes Schopenhauer's philosophy one step further and strongly argues that we, as a race, should cease procreation and go extinct in order to minimize suffering in the world while also t uh, touching on a variety of topics such as religion, anthropology, geology, military policies, education, and sexology. Um, so this Koenig uh, was sort of discovered by the great uh, antinatalist historian, antinatalist historian, pardon me, Karima Kerma. Um, Karima Kerma has written many articles about um, about Koenig, um, and um, I'm going to link a whole bunch of them below. You can find them. Um, I, I can't remember exactly the 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 the, uh, the website that the first one came out on, but there's several on his website. You can also, if you happen to read German, I highly, highly, highly recommend picking up a copy of his absolutely astonishingly brilliant um, and very, very, very important. This this book should be both cop both editions, the German and English version, um, should be in every antinatalist's uh, collection. I'm going to link both versions below. Please go pick them up if you can. Um, this is as close to a real history book on the subject of antinatalism that we have. I have made videos about um, this work in the past. I'll also link that below um, if you'd like to hear me ramble on about them more. Um, but yeah, so he does write about, um, the German version does have more about Koenig, you know, full, a full article about Koenig. The English edition, um, Koenig is at least mentioned, but I do believe that that specific article that's found in this one is, um, is missing. There are some some big differences between both editions. Uh, you can also read uh, Kareem's uh, article about Koenig, again, in The History of Antinatalism, uh, compiled by Katerina Lokmoniva. And, um, yeah, I mean, it was, it's just, you know, Kareem has done an incredible amount of unearthing of antinatalism in the long ago past and put that together for all of us. But Koenig, it could be said, is his most stunning um, revelation, like just the, just, you know, just such an, such an incredibly important find. And, uh, we have Kareem to absolutely to, to thank for that. So please go check all that out below. Um, you can also, uh, learn more about Koenig and Kareem, uh, if you listen to episode 18 of the Exploring Antinatalism podcast, 
where I interview Kareem and we talk all about Koenig as well as many other things. It's an ex- excellent episode, if I may say so myself. Um, so uh, moving on to a little bit more of what uh, Lenny wrote on Reddit, uh, he says, unfortunately, very few copies have survived two world wars and a Nazi dictatorship since Koenig's Neonalismus has been published some 120 years ago and not reprinted since. That's an important point. Uh, and the ones that have uh, are very difficult to access, even for scholars. Um, it can't be stressed enough how obscure this book is. Not only was it published un- under a pseudonym, um, actually, Koenig used a variety of other su- pseudonyms earlier, but in the second edition, published by Max Spoir, I'm probably saying that wrong, in Leipzig, um, the indication of the publishing house had to be physically removed from the book, either blackened out or cut out, most probably for fear of persecution, which is a very you know interesting side story to this whole thing um, that I, I know very little about. But yes, uh, that's a, I'm glad that he, he made a note of that. Um, for, uh, moreover, it's written in... Frankter, Fractor, Fractor, I'm probably saying that wrong as well, a type of um, black letter script that was common uh, back then, but even Germans may have trouble reading it today. Um, so yeah, so, you know, I have tried to track down uh, copies of Neolismus, uh, Neo nihilism sorry i have a bit of trouble saying that um you know there i I've, i i do some semi daily searches on ebay in various places to try to find copies there are at least two copies that are available at libraries here in America in different cities. They're way far outside of my reach. I have not had opportunity or uh, you know a, a chance to actually go. I'd love to go down and visit those libraries to see if I can um, you know get access to those copies because um, perhaps they are different than the copies that have uh, recently unearthed. Um, I did want to show real quick. I was um, you know th- there are also some uh, you know places online that specialize in uh, rare, you know, German books. Um, and so I have, I, I do, you know, frequent those sites, again, to try to find um, a copy of this book as well as anything else I can find uh, by Koenig. And I did have some luck um, in at least finding this. So this is, from what I understand, actually a piece of neo nihilismus. Um, it's called Der Pessimismus der Anderen. Again, I'm probably saying that wrong. So as far as I ha- have recently been made aware, this is, again, like a piece of the book. This exact copy is listed from uh, 1899. Um, I should note, and I, I meant to say this earlier, so, you know, Koenig did not originate or use the term antinatalism. But it's, you know, so that doesn't appear in this. It doesn't appear in neo nihilismus in its entirety. But he was writing about anti-procreation in a way that, you know, is more more common to the way that we, or some of us at least, talk about it or is written about it in modern times. Um, but this, I, this is a hugely, I, you know, I, I absolutely love having this in my collection. It was incredibly cheap. I think I got it for under five bucks. So, um, you know, it... it, it, it it, it's it was just something that I, I I just really couldn't pass up. I'll show it in just a little bit more detail because of the, um, but it's just a little pamphlet of a thing, and from what I understand, it's mainly um, you know quotes. This is so I really shouldn't be handling this, but um, you know it's mainly quotes from different different people, and it's yeah. I just, I just heard the spine go help me. So I'm going to put this back now and pro- and never handle it with my disgusting hands again. Uh, moving on. So, um, so yeah, so I do have that. And, I, and again, I would love to go down to those libraries. I would love to actually find a copy. But it's incredibly rare, um, as, as Lenny detailed. Uh, Lenny, again, who is in Germany, uh, has had far greater success than I am, I'm happy to report. Um, he, is, he was able to track down two different versions, and he does detail um, this journey of actually going to these two different places and finding these two different copies. Um, And he did us the incredible service of scanning both versions of the book, which he has made uh, available to the entire community. It's an incredible, incredible effort. Um, And you can find both uh, versions of the book. Uh, I will link them both below. You can also, of course, find them on the original uh, Reddit, uh, you know, script that he wrote. Um, I'm going to link to that first off, the, the Reddit post, so that you can read that 
um, first off. Um, but it gets even better because he went the extra thousand miles by transcribing the entire work, uh, which is just an, an incredible, tremendous effort. It's 200 pages or so. Um, so you can now find this electronic text version of the book, linked below, of course, um, available for the very first time in history. Again, thanks to Lenny. Um, and yeah, so please go check that out. A couple of things that Lenny wanted uh, me to mention. Uh, so this is not the final version. Uh, he, he is looking for proofreaders. He is looking for people that can provide feedback. So if you are such a person, um, please get in touch with him on Reddit or let me know and I'll let him know and we'll try to hook everybody together. There are also a couple of illustrations that were a part of Neo Nihilismus um, that Lenny has had some trouble uh, doing like the image editing for. So if anybody can volunteer to help with that side of the project, you know, extracting the images and editing them uh, the way that, that, that Lenny uh, needs them edited, um, again, please get in touch with us. Uh, my email uh, um, is antinatalnews at gmail.com. You can also reach me at Explore antinatalism at, at, at uh, gmail.com. So yeah, just please get in touch with me anytime if you can help with uh, either of those two things. Um, or, or Lenny, again, on, on, uh, on Reddit. Um, and this, you know, the, the biggest news, you know, for me anyway, is that the English translation of all this has also started. Um, and so you can see sort of the beginnings of that. Again, I will link to that below. And um, if, again, if you can, if you can help in any way with the translation pro process uh, from German to English, uh, definitely get in touch. Uh, and I absolutely cannot wait <laughs> to read uh, this book. Uh, it's just, just absolutely going to be a dream come true to see it, you know, finally available in English. And then I think the step from there is to try to get it published because, you know, as Kareem and I did talk about, you know, the book, uh, you know, on, on the podcast, the book is well over a hundred years old. There is no copyright as far as anybody is aware um, that still has to be honored. So this thing can have, you know, finally a, a, a not only uh, available translation in a different language, but, um, but, you know, a new edition, which I think is just going to be so incredibly uh, important and um, just incredibly exciting. I absolutely cannot wait. So first off, I want to say a humongous thank you to Kareem, without whom, after all, likely none of us would have ever heard or known of Koenig in the first place. So thank you so much for all of your research, uh, Kareem. Um, and of course, thank you to Lenny for your incredible contribution um, to uh, the history of antinatalism and to the Koenig saga. Um, just, you know, for all of us that love and care about antinatalism history, this, again, this is an absolute dream come true. I'm quite sure I'm not the only one who uh, is eternally grateful for all the time and effort that you've put into this and that you're continuing to put into this. So thank you so, so, so much. Um, just extremely, extremely exciting news. And I absolutely cannot wait to, um, you know, see the further developments of everything that you're uh, that you're working on and, uh, and and for all the fruit that it is bearing. So uh, so once again, uh, please, everybody, uh, if you you know, if you if you are at all <laughs> even even a fraction of, you know, excited about this project as I am, please go send Lenny and Kareem some love, you know, say thank you, uh, help support this project in any way you possibly can. Please go check out all the links below and please volunteer to help if you can. Uh, all the best. Bye for now. Um, thank you so much to everybody. I will be back again soon. Take care, everybody. Thanks so much. Bye.